today we're going to be doing ourselves for a recipe day uh, banana pudding so uh, this recipe will be on my website tonight exclamation mark website or cgr.me uh, you can go check it out but it won't be up there just yet um, so uh, what is banana pudding pretty much I'm gonna do my own twist on it so pretty much gonna be making a banana custard gonna be making a delightful light soft sponge to go in there uh, also we're gonna have some Chantilly cream and in addition we're gonna have some ground crackers crushed up on top and some flaked almonds and also I'm missing uh, some glazed uh, bananas as well so cutting the bananas ice and sugar and then glazing with a blowtorch or you could use the broiler if you have a blowtorch uh, so we're going to layer that up into a nice little kind of trifle dish so uh, nice little uh, dessert for you folks because I haven't done a dessert in a while for recipe day so I thought it's about time I did a dessert for you folks even though we do have YouTube for that. The first thing we want to do is pretty much the sponge now this sponge I use on my Boston cream pie but we're going to use it for this uh, banana pudding it's an absolute little delight so I'm going to try it in the new oven as well so uh, it's pretty much consistent of four bowls uh, with one bowl as melted butter so um, pretty much in the first bowl we're gonna be having ourselves uh, three egg yolks two egg whites and keeping the uh, egg whites for the third bowl and then we're gonna have ourselves one teaspoon of vanilla 100 grams or half a cup of sugar or caster sugar so we're gonna whip that up then we're gonna have in the second bowl, uh, we're gonna take that out of the KitchenAid, clean it out, and then we're gonna put in the three egg whites from the three egg yolks from the first bowl. And this is getting a bit confusing. 50 grams of sugar, one quarter cup of sugar. We're gonna whip that up until it's stiff, take that out. And then we're gonna weigh the dry ingredients out in the third bowl, which is gonna be 50 grams or one third of a cup of flour, 50 grams of cornstarch or one quarter of a cup and one teaspoon of uh, baking powder and one teaspoon or one pinch of natural sea salt sorry and obviously the butter we want to melt down in the pan is 40 grams which is 1.4 ounces so whew, I hope I got that all in there and then I'm going to show you how to put it all together uh, let's get the butter on the go first because that'll be the easiest thing to do uh, so we want 40 grams sorry 40 grams of unsalted butter or 1.4 ounces so we'll get that on get that melt and you can melt that in your microwave whatever you want whichever shape way or form is easier for you folks before I'm going to fuse the living daylights out of you, I'm going to do the dry ingredients in the third bowl. 50 grams or one third of a cup of plain, plain flour or all purpose flour, whichever you want to call it. Same thing. And we want ourselves, what, 50 grams of cornstarch or corn flour, if you want to call it that. I know you folks in America like to call it cornstarch. A teaspoon of baking powder. All right, I've gone for two pinches of salt in there. Don't go too crazy. Two little small pinches. Three egg yolks. Keep the egg whites for the bowl too and we want two whole eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, and 100 grams of sugar. Egg whites, and we're gonna need sugar. So this is for the, the third bowl. Um, right, let's uh, catch the egg whites and then the egg yolks in there. So we need three egg yolks in here. Sugar for the egg whites. I think that's gonna be 50 grams, yeah. 50 grams or a quarter of a cup of sugar for the egg whites. Put that aside, egg whites, the dry ingredients for the third bowl. So the first bowl, uh, we're going to get the uh, whisk attachment. Right, so you just want to whip this up until it's nice, light, and fluffy. So, uh, is that locked in place now? It is good. Just put it on a medium speed. And while we're waiting, we need to make sure we butter our cake tins and parchment them. Or we can butter and flour them. I prefer butter and parchment. All right, so, fold that in half, half again, and then we're going to fold it, this is going to be a bit of a short one, but it should be okay. And then what you want to do, measure the middle, oof, this is going to be very short, no, it's not, this actually should be okay, to be fair, should be okay. There you go. Easy peasy, like magic. That's good to go. I'm going to wash this and we're going to wash the bowl. I'm going to take the mix out, put it into the um, glass bowl here. Right, so, so attach the whisk attachment. Um, so yeah, in goes the three egg whites. Uh, not the sugar, not yet. So you want to drop this down, lock it in place. Whip this up until it starts to get frothy. Then you want to start adding the sugar little by little. And that's the 50 grams of sugar, which is a quarter of a cup. So super important. You don't add it now. Why? 
and or if you add it all of it because it won't dissolve into the uh, egg whites correctly and you won't get a good results out of it so adding it little by little will help incorporate it bit by bit and it'll smoothen on in you won't have too or shouldn't have any grains by the end of it right Oh, it's okay. Thank God for that. And don't forget the butter. All right. So we've got the flour, the egg yolk mix, the egg white stiff, whipped up egg whites, which are stiff. Uh, we've also got the uh, the butter, egg yolk mix, dry ingredients. Dry ingredients are going into the egg yolk mix first. I'm gonna fold that through. Just be very careful with it. You don't wanna knock. You will knock some air out of it, but you won't knock it totally. So uh, whatever you do, do not whisk this in then you will knock all the air out of it and then you will be crying by the end of it because it's not spongy so just give this a whip and you got to make sure this is folded in until you've got no more little flower pockets in go some of the uh, whipped up egg whites or half of them and then we're going to add the rest of it in a second so just add the first lot and then uh, le beurre is going in so it's kind of like a genoese sponge kind of uh, so we're going to split this between the two cake tins Get in there. Um, right, we want bake, right? Bake. 350. And this is going to be for 20 minutes. Right, so we're going to get the um, custard on the go, or the banana custard. 750 ml of milk and about 3 teaspoons of vanilla extract. So, in this bowl, we're going to need 9 egg yolks. Flipping out a lot of egg yolks. Uh, we're also going to need 135 grams or 2 thirds of a cup of sugar. Uh, we're also going to need 30 grams of plain flour or all-purpose flour which is six teaspoons 30 grams or six teaspoons of cornstarch and then obviously one banana we're gonna whip up as well for the banana flavor right so let's give this a little whisk look at that beautiful cheeky sponge oh yeah uh, we've got our banana in here, the custard mix. We're going to put the uh, milk in here now. So it's just come up to a simmer. Or if you want to call it creme pat, or if you want to call it fancy custard, whatever whatever tickles your fancy. All right, put a little bit in to begin with. And then I'm just going to whisk a little bit up. Just to kind of pretty much loosen it up. To be honest with you, the, the, the banana will loosen this mix up pretty quick. So you don't need to go too wild. You just need to uh, dissolve this mix into the custard. Into the milk, sorry. Right, pour that mix straight in because that's pretty much disappeared off the bowl, which is good. Don't worry about the lumps of banana because we're going to blend this up anyway later on. So um, we're going to put this back onto the stove on a medium heat. And we want to whisk this around for about continuously for about roughly about five to ten minutes just until it thickens. And then once it has thickened, leave it on for another further two minutes just to remove that eggy taste because it can be not very nice. And you want to make sure those eggs are fully cooked out. So I want some parchment paper. Actually... Yeah, usually you use parchment paper, but I actually find the silk mats work so much better. As I said, with the lumps, that's the banana. Don't worry about it. We're going to blend it down once this cools down. So we'll get it nice and smooth shortly. So if you're asking me why you put it on a tray, why you put it on a mat, reason for it, to actually cool uh, custards and things or sauces down quicker, or even soups, but you can put them in a deep tray. Anyway. If you actually increase the work surface area, you're actually increasing or decreasing the cooling time. So it will actually cool down so much quicker. So for the Chantilly cream, we want 960 ml of double cream or heavy whipping cream. And that would be about four cups. I want 12 tablespoons of what, icing sugar or powdered sugar? I think so. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Put this on to, uh, I wouldn't put it on too high a speed, but you want to whip this up on a medium high just until it peaks nice and thick. Right, we're going to blend up our uh, banana custard. So, uh, there we go. Quite a lot of custard, so I might have to do half and then half again. Chat, has that got a good jiggle enough or not? Okay, let me get some bananas. Uh, we're going to get a, a tray out and we're going to uh, blowtorch them. Or you can uh, broil them to caramelize them if you want. I don't want too much of a thick layer, just a little bit. So we're just cutting these into little fingers. Whoops. Right, so. What do we do? I want some bananas. Bananas.
if you really want this banana pudding to look nice and yellow, I'll just put a little bit of yellow dye in it, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> the oxidization from the banana, because we actually use real bananas, it does go a little bit grey. Put some of that cream in there. Almost forgot. So probably half a half a ground cracker to go on top. You don't want a lot. And if you want to put, I don't know, you could even put chocolate on top if you really wanted to. I'm gonna to go to that extent. To be fair, this will be plenty. So yeah. Yeah, you can go fancy with it if you want to do the swirls as well on top, or you can just lump it on. You don't have to go to the extent of what I do if you don't want to. Just pile it on, chuck the rest on top, and be good. Okay. So there we go. There is our beautiful banana pudding. So I was going to say three elements to it, but technically four with the garnish, but yeah, three elements. So we had the sponge, which was very complicated this morning. But it's consistent of four bowls. Obviously, the first bowl, you'd have the um, eggs, egg yolks in it. So three egg yolks, two egg, whole eggs, sorry, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla, 100 grams of sugar or half a, half a cup of sugar. So you whip that up into the KitchenAid. Weigh out your dry ingredients. So 50 grams or one third of a cup of flour, uh, 50 grams or one fourth of a cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one pinch of salt. Set that aside in a bowl. And then the egg whites from the three egg yolks from the first bowl, hope I'm not losing you here, uh, into a separate bowl with uh, 50 grams of sugar or uh, a quarter of a cup on the side, separate. So you whip up the egg yolks so it's nice, light and fluffy, put it into a separate bowl, take it out, clean your KitchenAid, put in the egg whites in, whip them up until they're nice and stiff, add in the sugar little by little. Once that's stiff, fold in your dry ingredients with the, um, with the egg yolk mix until there's no more flour pockets. Then fold in the uh, egg, stiff egg whites little by little, and then obviously your melted butter, which is the fourth one you'll have of 40 grams of melt unsalted melted butter, which is 1.4 ounces. And then you fold the, but the melted butter in, and then you split between your two cake trays, which you lined with butter and parchment paper, and in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes on 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. Take them out, let them cool down, take them out the tins, and then you can slice them into little fingers. So that's how we made the sponge. The uh, custard itself, we did 750 ml of milk, which is three cups, a teaspoon of, no, sorry, three teaspoons of vanilla. Put that onto uh, a simmer. Once it comes over the simmer, take it off. And then in a bowl, nine egg yolks, 135 grams of sugar, two thirds of a cup, uh, 30 grams or six teaspoons of plain or all, all purpose flour, 30 grams of cornstarch or um, six teaspoons, that is. And also, um, what else was in there? Oh, one whole banana. So you whip all those together and then take the milk off the stove, add the milk little by little until it's all incorporated. Put that back in the pan on a medium heat, whisking that until it cooks out the eggs, until it's thickened. Cook it out for a further two minutes uh, to make sure there's no eggy taste. Once that's cooked out, put it onto a tray lined with parchment paper or silk mat and then uh, let that cool down. Once it's cooled down, blend it up and you'll have your nice, beautiful custard. Um, and then the third one is Chantilly cream. Pretty straightforward, about 190, no, 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 960 ml and four cups of cream, double cream or double whipping cream, whichever you use, 12 tablespoons of ice and sugar and about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Whip that up until it's nice and thick, and there you go, and there's your three elements. So we just layered it up, use the piping bag as well if you want to do a fancy garnish, that's optional, um, and then just one, half a gram cracker and a very small amount of I'd probably say a tablespoon of flaked almonds to finish it off, so that's it. There's your little cheeky banana pudding chat. There is one thing I did forget to mention. Two bananas cut down and we um, caramelized them with some sugar. I'd probably recommend using instead of the brown sugar, the granulated sugar will be fine. Uh, just a little coating and blow torch them or you can broil them and we put them in between the layers as well. So that's one thing I did miss. And uh, have a lovely weekend and stay safe. So stay safe, awesome and amazing, and I'll see you on Monday. All the loves chat, and bye for now, my friends.